Hello everyone, this is Nilson Lima and we are here today to uh, show one uh, of our fellow uh, community users that how to set up properly the underwater effects in the ocean project. So this is the, the, the folder as I have downloaded from GitHub using GitHub desktop. So uh, I will assume uh, new guys you want to uh, use the uh, Unreal 4.20 so all you have to do is uh, locate this ocean project dot u project you likely to edit it and change here to 4.20 once you have done that close your file and you have to right click in this file and generate the Visual Studio project files. Okay, now you can open it. You will likely to ask you for recompile. So, you receive this message here, you say yes, may take a while As it has successfully compiled your project, it will open now. The much cores you have in your system processor, faster is the job to compile and to compile shaders also, building lights. So if you check that your system is doing uh, this stuff uh, slower than you see here in this video, uh, it is because you might have a system with a few uh, core count. Uh, this one here is 8 cores, 16 threads. As you can see here. So, in this point here, we are having quite a lot of stuff putting the uh, CPU at 100%. Uh, as you can see here, shader compiling. Okay, so it's perfectly normal. So if you have fewer core count, uh, you take a, a little bit more time to finish this. Well, this is 919th. I you stop the video and continue when this is done. So, see you guys soon.
So we are back, and when this screen, uh, uh, the editor uh, opened, it was like 1,000 uh, shaders compiling. So it was a little bit more time to wait. So once you have followed this procedure, this is should what you see: a sky with few clouds and this beautiful water. I haven't touched uh, anything in the settings, uh, in any material. This is what you have. If you are not having this, you might be concerned because uh, it may be that your system uh, can't support Shader Model 5. It is what this current uh, Ocean feature is using. So uh, check again if your a graphics card is with the, uh, the drivers updated and if you have support for shader model 5 uh, this user in uh, in the forums has asked to do is the uh, set the the underwater effects as you can see if you open the project it shows that the, the settings are already there so if you are not having this distortion going on and this uh, fog inside water and you have issues with your settings now uh, what settings we are talking about to have these effects going on? You have to come here in the edit project settings then you in this bar here you have to, to type custom def custom def stencil pass you have to have this option enable it with stencil anything different you not have your underwater effects it might be that uh, if you type here planner support global clip pane for planner reflections if you have if you haven't this check it yet you must or you will not see these beautiful reflections here this feature is heavy so if you have uh, a slow uh, graphics card uh, you might suffer with performance in this project see that we are in settings we are uh, in scalability we are all epic so if I click here show FPS and change this to high and play you like you have 120 uh, besides in the editor you have a limit on how much uh, frame rate you can have so you'll not see more than this but this is how it looks like in high settings and how it looks like in uh, epic settings not much of a difference the most important is the shader model being 5 or it will not work at all so to understand uh, besides that those settings I have show it in the project settings uh, because uh, we still have uh, another type of effect that I want to show uh, it is the uh, wetlands it means that once you get inside the water and you get out you see the lands are wet like this 
So, how do you have these things working? Let's just get this uh, in. Uh, here you have BP underwater uh, actor placed here in your level. So you have to make sure to fill these values here accordingly. The uh, swing volume reference is just to give you some um, uh, resistance while you, you try to get into the water. Nothing else. Like some force that makes me walk slower. This is what uh, the uh, water swing volume does. Nothing else. So you are not you will not swim. <laughs> Okay, your your character will not uh, enter into a uh, uh, swimming animation. It's not for this. It's just uh, some resistance you have while you're getting into the the water or where the volume is set. Nothing else. So uh, another thing that you want to to check this is when we want the wet lens effect activated or not and if the swim volume will follow your shark this is not desirable because I uh, see you have uh, a terrain here you don't want, don't want that resistance to follow you inside the terrain so you not do this the uh, post-process volume, uh, as you hear, we have just one volume doing all the jobs. So PP global can be set here uh, as well. Okay. Now, uh, what else you need to make that effect? If you have uh, your post-process here, you need to make sure. Um, let me see where we have that settings now. PP global post process materials here in rendering features post process materials. You see that is an array with one element. You open this. You have to select here the material underwater PP instance and make sure you have a value set one here why you can't see this uh, value to be edited here is because our volume is uh, not enabled so you enable it now you can change if you have zero here <coughs> and you go underwater you see like this it means that the underwater effects are turned off So you have to have a value of 1 set here. And to set this material, you just click here and search for uh, the, the material. M underwater PP instance. Use the instance, not the PP only. It is material instance is what you have, we want to, to set. So you just double click and you have it set here. If you look at now, you see that the effect is, is there. Okay. So if I clear this out, you see that it's not there anymore. So the most common uh, uh, error people get while setting the underwater uh, effects is when they don't go uh, uh, and set here in the post process don't set this value to 1 and in the underwater blueprint they just don't set correctly here you have to, to
to put this sunlight reference you see that is a directional light you have to do this uh, uh, correctly as well or your um, subsurface effects will not uh, go well okay so this is uh, everything you need to have the underwater effect set if you are not getting this it's because your hardware are not capable of uh, shader model 5 it is required uh, another thing that you might want to change and, and do some tests if you need uh, 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 is the uh, the ocean type let's see where it is right now Ah, the size of the waves and how the the other height you change it here global wave amplitude the direction of the wave is you change it here okay this is something people also asks and trying to to set up the, uh, the project values here in the uh, very top the appearance you have ocean shader so you have several types of ocean shader already set for you here so I guess SSR4 and cube map is, is the second best uh, ocean shader we have it might work with uh, shader model 4 and as you can see, uh, we're still using the. Uh, if you come here, all the way up, you can like bring this down, and you see the planar reflection here. But let's see if it is turned off or not. Okay, it's not turned it on. You see that it's not cell. It is uh, visible, so this is good because uh, planar reflections is uh, required to shader model 5 to operate if I'm not wrong go I, I think this is everything we need uh, right now and if you guys still have um, some dolls please uh, write in the forums and in the forum thread and let me know uh, if you still are not able to do this but as I said this is all what it takes to to make the the underwater effects to to work properly okay so check your drivers uh, check it, the capabilities of your graphics card and try a, a, another machine but the steps are just like this that is nothing else so it's not working properly uh, you have a long way having the, the, the proper environment to uh, operate with this asset and maybe several other assets you have uh, in the marketplace store okay see you guys thank you very much for watching bye bye